This test is held at Connery Current Academy on 15 June 2023. The interlocutor name is Alina and the interlocutor number is 25432. So could you please tell me your name and, and candidate number for documentation? My name is Nitin Jules. My candidate number is 43621. All right. So the test is for the profession of nurse. Good morning. Good morning. Can I see your ID proof, please? Here it is. Thank you. So the test is for your English language, not your professional knowledge. So speak naturally. Okay. Let's begin with a warm-up session, which is not assessed. So it's just to get to know our voices. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Nidin Jules. I am a nurse by profession. Mm -hmm. I completed my nursing from Rajiv Gandhi University in 2014. Mm -hmm. I have three years of work experience. All right. Um, and why did you choose nursing? To be honest, it was not my dream to become a nurse when I was a child. Uh, my ambition was to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I couldn't clear the medical entrance uh, required to enroll in uh, for MBBS in a medical college. Yeah. Uh, that's how I end up in nursing. Mm -hmm. However, I love my profession now. And why did you choose OET? It was my dream to uh, work as a nurse in the UK. And for that, a language proficiency test is necessary. Mm -hmm. Since OET is closely related to my profession, I chose OET. Okay. So this is the end of your warm-up session. And now let's move on to role play one. I'll take the role of the patient and you'll be the nurse. So here is your role play card. Okay. You have three minutes preparation time and your time starts now. Okay. So this is the end of your preparation time. You now have five minutes and your time starts now. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Nidin Jules. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this hospital emergency department. Mm -hmm. You seem very anxious. Could you tell me what happened? I'm here because my cat scratched my arm really badly yesterday and I've been waiting for 45 minutes without seeing the doctor. I'm really sorry for the delay that has happened. But please try to understand the circumstance. Emergency department has been busy with critically ill patients mm -hmm. and doctor has been attending to them. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why delay has happened. But don't worry, doctor will come and assess your condition soon. And after that, we will start the treatment and further care. Right. Before that, I would like to know your name and age for the documentation purpose. Yes, yeah, so my name is Sarah and I'm 30 years old. Your name is Sarah, right? That's right. Sarah and you are 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you briefly explain me what happened? Okay, so it took place yesterday and my cat scratched my arm really badly and it was bleeding. So I'm quite anxious because the wound looks deep and the injury now, ha now seems red and inflamed. Also, I'm quite frustrated because I've been waiting for a long time to receive attention. I'm uh, sorry again for the delay that has happened. It's quite normal to feel frustrated, especially uh, when you have to wait in the emergency department for mm -hmm. a long time. I promise you that doctor will come and meet you soon. All right. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask you further questions to understand your condition better. Mm -hmm. When did it exactly happen? It took place yesterday evening. Yesterday evening? That's right. Did you lose too much blood? I did not. Were your cat uh, behaving abnormally yesterday? No, we were just playing and he accidentally scratched me. Do you have knowledge about the vaccination history of your cat? Yes, so my cat is fully vaccinated. It means that your cat is vaccinated against uh, viruses such as rabies, right? That's right. Oh, that's a great relief from Sarah. Oh, is there pus or exudates from your wound? Um, no, there's nothing like that. Okay. Do you have underlying disease conditions such as diabetes, mellitus, or hypertension? No, I do not. Okay. Currently, are you experiencing any kind of pain or itching around the wound? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Thank you for answering my questions. I would like to know one more thing. Mm -hmm. Do you have allergic reaction to any kind of materials? Uh, no, I don't have any sort of allergies. Thank you again, Ms. Sarah. Please try not to worry. We all are here to help and support you. We'll make sure you that your condition will improve. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we will be providing you the appropriate kind of care. Now, uh, I would like to know whether you have tried any kind of self-treatment at home. Yes, yeah, so I have washed these affected areas several times with water. You have acted appropriately. That's a good thing that you have done because mm -hmm. washing the wound with water will help to remove any kind of dust particle from the wound area. 
and it will help to remove the saliva or any kind of materials from the cat's body mm -hmm. uh, this will help to prevent any chances of infection mm -hmm. okay and please uh, stay calm i'll be washing the wound again All and right. after that dressing will be performed okay. i would also like to know whether you have tried any kind of uh, or whether you have tried applied any kind of uh, lotions or ointments on the wound no i haven't okay uh, that's good at present, do you experience any kind of symptoms such as high temperature, pain uh, or headache? Uh, no, currently I'm not experiencing anything, no fever, nothing. Nothing, okay. Now the doctor will come and visit you mm -hmm. and before that I need to take your vital signs such right. as blood pressure, pulse and respiration rate. Okay, um, but see, I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think I have to see the doctor because the injury might be really serious. Okay, I understand. Uh, that's a valid question. But please try to understand that it's as per doctor's instruction that I need to take your vital signs mm -hmm. because before he come and assess your condition, he needs to understand whether you are stable or not. And for that, vital signs are really important. Mm -hmm. Okay, because even if you are not experiencing any kind of external symptoms, there's a chance that something problematic will be there mm -hmm. uh, with your heart rate or respiration rate. And for that purpose, I am asking your permission to take your vital signs. Okay. So are you ready? Right, if there's no other choice, then yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to take your vital signs, Miss Sara. Mm -hmm. uh, before concluding, I would also like to inspect your wound. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, inspected your wound and from my examination, I have confirmed redness and inflammation along the wound mm -hmm. and the wound also appears to be deep. Mm -hmm. Okay, please stay relaxed, uh, doctor is on the way. Okay, and before that, do you have anything else to ask me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. I just want to see the doctor as soon as possible. Okay. So this is the end of your time. Thank you. Okay. I hope you found this role pretty useful and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Kanyar Karan's Academy Goals Guidance Growth